What's up guys, welcome back to the channel for another Steam Deck video, this time back with Shiaki update for streaming your PlayStation over the internet much easier here than it used to be when it required the port forwarding and all of that. More similar to something like the PS Play app that we got over on Windows and other devices. So let's take a closer look now. In this video, I really wanna focus more specifically on that update. I do have a couple of other guides that go much more in depth when it comes to setting up and installing Shiaki for your PlayStation, your PS5, HDR, and all of that. So those links will be in the description if you wanna go check out a lot more about setting this up. But on this, we're gonna focus on that PSN update. So we're gonna go ahead and get switched over to desktop mode. I don't have Shiaki on here right now. I'm gonna do a quick ad and show the update here that they've put on. So I'm going to go over there to desktop mode to do some of this. I'm going to go into the Discover store. We're going to go ahead and search for Shiaki up here, Shiaki 4 deck more specifically. And then once we grab that, I'm going to install it again. This is all very in-depth and much slower over in one of those guide videos. Now make sure you're looking at the right version here. You might need to switch over and you'll see the 5.4.24 release date there for the newer version. You want to make sure you have that or that you're updating to that if you already have the app. And then I'm going to open that and see that my PlayStation 5 shows up here. We're on the same network. I'm also going to quickly add that as a non-Steam game. So when I go back to game mode, it'll be there. Again, this stuff covered much more in depth and slowly in those other videos if you want to check that out. But I just wanted to kind of glaze over things and get going on the new version here and then check out how we attach that PlayStation network. But here we are, registered locally. You do need to be registered locally and linked up before you can do the over the internet thing. So make sure you don't just jump over to that. Make sure you have gone through the process process of connecting and making this work on the same network first, then you can get into that PSN setup. So the way we're going to do that, we're going to go into our settings here for Chiaki 4 Deck, the little gear icon over here. We're going to go to PSN and log into PSN. This is going to bring us into a login page for our PlayStation account. Now this failed for me every time on Google Chrome. I had to copy the link that it gives me. I had to take that over to the Edge browser. Maybe another browser would work, but this is what worked for me. I pasted it in here. Then I was able to actually log in and get the redirect page, copy that link and take it over to the app like we're supposed to so that we get that connection, that token for online. So we're gonna click and paste in here, click set up, and then it's gonna quickly go ahead and we have our token taken care of there for online play. Now it was tricky for me though, here it does show up. I'm over on another network that I have in the house, but I could never get this particular network to work for me. And I noticed over on the GitHub, a lot of people are having a bug where this fails out and won't connect. And I know they're working on updates for this. So depending on when you're watching this video, this may or may not be an issue. I jumped over to my iPhone hotspot though, which has horrible service at my house and is not a good way to do this, but it was able to allow me to check to see if it would work. So on my phone's hotspot, I was able to see my PlayStation show up here over the internet, which was great as I showed setting up. I clicked on it and then surprisingly, it actually did work for me. So linking Shiaki 4 Deck with PlayStation console, then it goes into the console linked and establishes the data connection and the stream and everything from there. And while it wouldn't be playable for me on a hotspot where I'm at with my phone, it's very weak service here, but the fact that it worked and I was able to prove it worked here, was pretty good and again it wouldn't necessarily be something that would be a playable experience but I was able to at least log in and be over the internet connected to my PlayStation 5 and of course on another network somewhere or somebody else's house or whatever some better Wi-Fi you'll get a playable experience and it'll probably work pretty well because I have connected to my PS5 over the internet with other apps and other methods and stuff like that and had it work really really well so I'm sure on a good connection, this would work out just fine, but they do have some bugs to work out and that type of thing. Now, clicking R1, L1, and R3, L3 will bring up the menu here. It will show connection. It'll give you the zoom stretch options, mic option, some of your stream options here. There's a lot more in settings though. And then the X will allow you to, of course, disconnect and you can put the console to sleep or allow it to stay awake, whatever you decide there. The new UI in, in the newer version of Shiaki is really nice as well, along with this PSN connection. It certainly is a little bit quirky here out of the gate as to getting us to work on different networks, and I'm sure they'll get that straightened out, but when it does work, it's pretty cool. And the fact I was able to get my phone to work enough to at least test it out was pretty interesting. I'm sure in a better area uh, where my hotspot works better, it would be maybe playable for some games or usable. But yeah, pretty interesting. Definitely like to see this method coming for those that want an easier setup to stream their PlayStation away from home using Shiaki 4 Deck. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming and check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.